Crown Stroke Drill here. Uh, Coach Jim is going to be uh, he's going to be established or he's going to be stationed at the kitchen line. He's going to be on the right side of the court. My job is I'm going to be at the baseline. Um, I'm going to be hitting ground strokes back to Jim who's on the right side of the court. He's going to be moving me with his punch volleys. Great drill for me to work on movement with hitting uh, ground strokes. Great drill for this man to be working on using his punch volley but moving me around with his punch volley. His main focus is depth. Um, you know, uh, we, could, we could set up cones here, we could set up paddles, or I could just tell him to keep the freaking ball deep. Um, but his main focus is depth and moving me around. My job is getting my feet in the correct position, making contact with that ground stroke, and then looking to recover, okay? Great movement drill for me as well. Um, Coach Jamie, ready here? Nice. Good, Jim's moving me. I'm getting my feet in the correct position here. Sorry. Ah, good. Something I'm focused on in this movement drill uh, because it happens pretty quick or, or uh, uh, his time, my time gets taken away because obviously uh, Coach Jim is at the kitchen line and he's hitting a volley. But with that being said, my job is to be very alert after I make contact and my job is to be very explosive with my first step. That way I can get my feet in the correct position. So just know that in this drill, it's very difficult to continue to drive because uh, just the, the time is cut down. So just, re so just really focus on being eager, being hungry, and being very alert after you make contact with getting your feet in the correct position and then just being explosive out of your first step so you can get to the next one, okay? Turning, getting sideways, getting to set. Okay guys, um, game here is going to be Coach Jim is acting as a returner. He's going to be feeding a return from the kitchen line. I'm going to be back at the baseline and I'm going to be driving a third ball and we're going to play the point out. But the situation in this game is that uh, Coach Jim is going to feed it short, which would put me in a position where I have a uh, half court uh, uh, third ball drive and I, and I know that this area is the prime area to be driving third balls in, but I also know that it's difficult to keep the drive in when my weight's going forward and it's short. So something that we're gonna talk about in this game is not only should this person be, be, uh, uh, be willing to let stuff go because of the, because of, of the situation, um, but they should be working on their tracking ability. Uh, they should also be gauging what sort of spin I am putting on this ball. Uh, they should be gauging uh, how, how loud they hear me coming in. If I come in and it sounds like a herd of elephants and it sounds very loud and very heavy, it's probably a true sign I'm not very organized when I come in. So that would maybe give Jim a tell that he should get the hell out of the way. Um, but things that I'm working on on this side is not being loud, not being heavy, trying to be light. Um, but main thing here is that when I, when I drive this shorter ball, I'm, I'm keeping this short and compact and I'm using the weight transfer that I have and I'm probably only swinging at like 30 or 40% on this ball. Why? Because I have added weight transfer coming with me. Plain and simple, anytime I have weight transfer, I don't need as much paddle head speed, okay? Um, in this game, if I drive and come in and crash and win the point by poaching off of my drive, I would get two. So my job is to get my drive down and to put pressure and to even put visual pressure on Coach Jim. That way, as he's hitting his fourth ball, I'm coming in and, 
and I'm crashing and I'm looking to get in his vision so I can close off of his volley. Okay? Rock and roll here. So Jim, game to seven, rally scoring. If you let one go, you get two. You are feeding short. I'm driving and then getting in your face, buddy. Here we go. Short. Okay, uh, it's very generous of him. God, he likes to make me feel good about myself. Okay, score is two to zero. Okay, two to one. Something else that may happen on this drive, and as you notice there, it's very easy to want to start popping up on the drive as your weight uh, goes forward. So focus on staying down or almost keeping that ball on top of your head. Score is two to one. Two, uh, score is two to two. Uh. Okay, since I let one go, I would get two there. God, it's nice getting those. I'll tell you what, you will never know until you let one go. Four to two. Short. Okay. So five to two. Short. Yeah, I missed it wide. Good point though. Five to three. Okay, six to three. Okay, very good, I like it.